Hello YouTube, this is a 10 minute preview from one of our much longer interview episodes. You can find the links to this episode and the rest of our podcast in the description below. Liking this video really helps us out, so we appreciate every single one of you. Well, not Dave, he didn't turn up for this little intro piece, but I do. As always, be good, love you lots, until next time. Hello. Oh, there we go. <laughs> How are we well, doing? Uh, better now. Hello, yeah, having a bit of technical. Yeah, you fucked up again. I can, that, yeah, I can yeah. sound. I can hear it. <laughs> How does my mic sound? Does that do I, do I sound like a YouTuber? Sound beautiful. Lovely. I would. Is mine is mine still <laughs> fucked? Yeah, yeah yours, yours is still robotic. fucked, bro. Fucking nonce. No, we heard that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Right, it's good. It's good. It's good. Whatever you've done, it's good. It's not fuck you, buddy. Not done. What are you selected now? Are you, are you in as Blue Yeti or Voice Meter? There's Voice Meter, but I change it in and out and it seems to work. Right, okay. Let's just leave it like that. I'll deal with that later. Yeah, okay. It seems to be working. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I hate computers. Send me back to Codsop. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't pay me enough. Silence. Yeah, no one's on your team there. Did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> Silence was deafening. How are we all doing today? Are we all good? Yeah, I've been editing for the last 13 hours. <laughs> so taking a break now. Sounds amazing. 13 yeah. hours. Yeah, yeah, I've just Ooh. finished I've just finished editing the video, so the video is an hour and 15 minutes long and uh yeah, so I've, I'm I'm trying to get it out for Thursday. So I'm just waiting on my thumbnail now then I need to render and it'll be good to go. Hang on a minute. Nice. 13 hours. <laughs> I still can't get over that. That's <laughs> 7 o'clock this morning. Yeah, yeah. I, I got up at about um well, to be fair, I got, got up at about half seven, got onto my computer about eight, been editing it until about 20 minutes before the podcast. Shh. I mean, you're talking like that's normal behaviour, so, I mean, GG. <laughs> that's fuck that, man. Yeah. It's, fuck that. Yeah, how much uh, content, like, how much content did you have, like, to edit, to go through? Um, um, in- my most recent video, that was um, a full warp on Down Bad. So, well, they actually warped early, so it was about three weeks. So I'm playing every day for four hours minimum a day and I'll record oh, wow. every time I'm on day Z. So um, a lot of footage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was, it was, yeah, it was probably close to 100 hours or so. Nice. So uh, what do you like to be, do you like to be called Golden or Rex or uh, another? I've been, I've been called a lot of things before, but Rex is good. <laughs> Rex. Cool. Yeah, you can call me Rex. Right, so... Rex, just give us a little bit of a little bit of a uh, lowdown on yourself. Go on. How would you describe yourself and what you do? Uh, easily influenced is probably the main <laughs> the main thing I'd say because I got into the whole Daisy on PC and YouTube video making after watching one JLK video. Um, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. Would you like to invest? And now, hear me out. It's not a pyramid <laughs> scheme, right? Yeah, uh, we go. Now, would you like? <laughs> how would you like to become rich? Would you like to build yeah. own your own business? <laughs> I would love to yeah. actually. Yeah, you have a pigeon in your bank account. If you wouldn't mind, I can clean it out. If you want. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I've, I live in the UK. Um, live in South London. Been been in the UK for about six years. I've, I've come over oh. from S- South Africa. Yeah, fuck you, Dave. Ding ding ding. Fuck you, Go Dave. Right. <laughs> I fucking told you. I told you. My uh, better half is a is a Safa. Oh, is she? Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, Dave, this yeah. this dude, he sounds South African. And he's like, yeah. nah, no, nah, he's not. And I was like, oh, well, I'll take like his word on it because his missus is South African. So he would know, right? <laughs> you know what, you, man. It, it, in all you, fairness, buddy. going back to the easily influenced thing, my accent's changed. I've lived here for six years and it's because I've always worked in some sort of customer facing role. Um, and then, of course, doing YouTube and I, when I do my narration, I have to try and pronounce my words for most of my viewers to understand what I'm saying. <laughs> so, so, right, really- let me see if I can redeem myself now, right? I've got a map of South Africa up. I know you're right. <laughs> you have an accent from, you know, yeah. So you uh, have an accent. Yeah, you, uh, you I'm saying you're around the Durban area. Yeah. Yeah, I'm from the East Coast, Durban. Yeah, uh, I think you're not actually from Durban itself. You're a little bit further down, sort of like Margate way. Oh, going a little bit too far. Oh, too far. What are you, Scotborough? Uh, my, no, my aunt lives in Scotborough, but that's about two hours away from where I grew up. Ah, uh, so you're actually not too far away from my other half. So, um, so I was in Peter Maritzburg and Hillcrest and Panton. 
Oh, nice. So what? Uh, the Drakensberg. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Drakensberg. <nice. laughs> we just say Drakensberg, even even South oh, Africans yeah. say that. <laughs> yeah, it's nice, yeah. man. I mean, I like the boys' choir up there. I bet you the do. boys' choir. Have you not heard the Drakensberg boys' choir? <laughs> I don't think I have, no. Dave's an aspiring Catholic priest. I'm not sure if I can keep that <laughs> joking. <laughs> Edit that shit out. <laughs> now, I was over there three weeks uh, this uh, this January, actually. Oh, really? We had yeah, a yeah. Ev- yeah, I went to Harry Smith. Okay, shit hole. Yeah, near Lazuzu, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, was, it was fucking lovely weather, though, in all fairness. Yeah. It was in the summer, so it was bloody great. Well, I was I was there in December, and my wife was um she was thirty two weeks pregnant, so of course she was blown up like a balloon in forty degree weather. Yeah, uh, it was fucking baking, <laughs> man. Yeah, it was really warm. Well, anyway, I feel like we should include Andy in this. <laughs> uh, sorry, I thought that was hey, going to go on for a little bit longer, so I started eating a cream egg. <laughs> you fucking bum! <laughs> I thought these guys are going to be talking about South Africa for ages. I've I'm just going to munch this cream egg that's been staring at me for the last 20 minutes. I'm just staring at you. just want to be eating. <laughs> I'll be with you in a minute. Sweet. Well, as, as Andy's eating, Rex I'll, Rex, I'll ask you a lovely question. The question that everyone has on the tip of their tongue when they first aspire to listen to any of our interviews, and it's, uh, how did you get started? What was, what was Rex's first experience and what got you hooked? Um, it's, it was, I started YouTube about nine months ago now. Um, and my first video, I don't know. I just, I watched a lot of Daisy YouTubers and I'd look at some of their videos and I think, I think to myself, I'm, I'm sure I could do better than that, you know, because it, it doesn't look hard. So, you know, why not give it a try? So my first video, absolute fail, but I learned a lot because it was my first time ever editing anything. Um, you know, so my mark quality was really bad. My, you know, I, there would be long gaps in in content so i'd be running for like 10 minutes before something happens um and i only only got a couple of hundred views which which was a lot for me um and then after that video i kind of got obsessed i said no i've got to do a better video than that so i did my second video didn't do didn't do any better really but but my quality of editing was was improving um and then the next video and the next video after that i I started taking tips from other YouTubers. So I used to watch a lot of Daisy content creators for entertainment, stopped watching them for entertainment and instead started watching them for, you know, to learn, you know, what are they doing in the editing? What, what are they making their videos about? Um, and I just I sort of started copying them in, in a way. I started taking bits and pieces from every creator and, and I started implementing it in my own videos. Um, and then eventually I made made my biggest video, the, the first video where I decided to hop on a on a trend of what people like to watch on YouTube. And that was my, my cartel video. I, I looked at, I was going through <laughs> YouTube and I'm, I'm trying to have a look and see what gets views. And I, I Googled Daisy Cartel, uh, a YouTube Daisy Cartel. And I saw obviously JLK's one popped up, Exclusion did one, um, and, and a few other creators. And I'm thinking, well, you know, they're getting hundreds and thousands and some of them even millions of views. I wonder if I can do that. So I spent a month on Cryptic. Uh, this is not a promo shout out, by the way. <laughs> but, um, spent a month on Cryptic and I spent about another month editing it, editing all the content. And the content, in, in all honesty, was, wasn't even that great, in my opinion, after watching the video back. But it it blew off, you know, so it, it's on 150,000 views at the moment. And I looked at that video and I, and I, and I said to myself, wow, okay. Maybe I can do it. So, you know, I've got into a mindset of instead of trying to reinvent the wheel, just hop on it because it seems to work. And now I'm just addicted. So I do a video once a month and hope it gets a lot of views. So, you know, my next video is about gun running. So I became the richest gun run on a server and not a lot of there's, there's not many videos out there of them and and if there is they're they're all pretty old so i'm hoping that it, it gets a lot of attention oh yeah so i mean a lot of those titles you're right so dave i mean i'm gonna dig you in here mate or dig you out dig takes the out. Mi- he's, he takes the mick out of <laughs> uh the the classic sixteen thousand hour runs the largest cartel selling the biggest amount of drugs or whatever as youtube titles but you're right they work and then um, would say that owning the server or becoming the largest drug dealer, the largest gun runner, whatever in a server is it's like the winning formula, isn't it? You'd be silly not to use it whilst it's around. Well, that's exactly it. Yeah. I mean, the, the truth be told, 
majority of the creators and i've spoken to a lot of creators who do the same sort of videos as me and you know that they don't actually enjoy making that kind of content i'm I'm a vanilla player i prefer to make vanilla based stories you know almost like sour sweet the way he makes his stories yeah but it just never worked for me i tried and i tried i made so many videos of you know these sort of interactions but it didn't work and after my cartel video blew up i, I put up a poll on my youtube channel i said what do you guys prefer do you prefer group modded story adventures or do you prefer vanilla and i think it was like nine or 85 percent was modded so i thought well there goes my vanilla wow. <laughs> experience yeah it's crazy people want to see new things but everything in daisy has been done already so